Hi, my name is Connor. I heard you were going to have a sleep study. I had one just a couple weeks ago, and I want to tell you all about it. I've been having some trouble sleeping, so my doctor sent me to a children's hospital. When Mom and I came to the waiting room, I was able to play games and read some books while we waited. A nice lady named Krista came to get us. Hey, do you want to come back with me? And she took us into the sleep lab. Mom was very excited that she and all the other people were trying to take care of kids just like me. Are you excited? Krista checked to see how much I weigh and how tall I am. And then she took us to our room. Do you get that big bed right there? I have my own bathroom and a TV with a DVD player. Mom and I had our own beds. I changed into my own pajamas and brushed my teeth before bed, just like I do at home. I even got to bring my own pillow. I bring my stuffed animal, Ellie, to sleep with. This was a really special time for Mom and me. My dad stayed home with my brother and sister. When you come, you'll get to spend time with one special person too. When Krista came back, she had lots of wires with her. They looked a little scary at first, but let me tell you, it's actually kind of fun. She let me pick which color wire to do first. And there were over 25 wires. Krista told me these were very special wires because they could help her tell when I was dreaming. You start with the wires on my head, which went behind my ears, under my chin, by my eyes, and all over my head. She had to clean the spot with some cream and use sticky paste to keep the wires from moving. After we got those on, Krista wrapped my head like a mummy to keep everything tight and clean. Mom and I thought this was really funny. Next, we used wires to put on my chest and legs. We put on belts that went around my chest and tummy. She let me snap them on all by myself. Gotta push down. I felt like a superhero with all my belts on. Then Krista put a red light on my finger and wrapped it with a bandage. We even put on a mustache that went out of my nose. The very last thing we did was put on some little tubes that went into my nose. Don't worry, they just go in barely. All these help. The sleep team look at how I'm breathing while I sleep. Krista showed me there was a camera and microphone in my room. Krista went to a special room and talked to me over the speaker. Connor, can you hear me okay? It was really cool. Good job. She asked me to do several things. Good, now close your eyes for me and keep your eyes closed. So she could check all the wires and things that I was wearing. She said it was time to go to sleep. Good morning. You ready to get all this stuff on? In the morning, Krista came and woke us up. It was time to take off all those stickers, the wires and belts. Pulling the stickers off kind of felt like pulling off a band-aid. Afterwards, there was some sticky paste on my face, so we washed it off. I was really hungry when I woke up. So the nice people in the sleep lab brought me a muffin and juice. On the way out, they let me pick a toy from the toy chest. I got the coolest ninja ever. Krista told my mom that she should call to make an appointment with my doctor in two weeks to find out what they learned from watching me sleep. Hey, what are those big beds for? Those are for the adults. We do adult sleep studies too. Hey, we should have Dad come here sometime. He snores a lot. <laughs> My sleep study wasn't scary. It didn't hurt. And now I sleep so much better. And now I'm getting better grades in school. I had so much fun at the children's hospital.